G'day guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be doing a round review um, on finals week one. So, it was a pretty good week. The upset, we had the upset in the close Sydney Derby. We had Melbourne stand there dominant. So we had Port smashing the power, other cats. When we had the dogs and there was no drought for the dons. So, yeah, let's just get into the, um, yeah, let's just get into the games. So, Friday night, we had the first final of this year, Port vs. Cats, and, wow, what a win from the power. The fans were there, 20,000 or 15, can't remember which one, but, yeah, it was the only proper home final for the week, and it... Yeah, it was the home team who did get the job done. So they took the advantage well and, yeah, they did get the job done. So um, for the Cats, though, they didn't look good at all. They, um, yeah, they were just a bit, I guess, don't know the right word, maybe a bit lazy or um, slack or... Don't know, but they just weren't at their best, and you could see that from well, about the second quarter in there. All right, in the first, but after that first quarter, I was just all port. So, Cats did all right in the last, but second and third was where the game was won for the power. So, next game was a ripper. Sad day, Arvo, Sydney versus Giants. Uh, I missed the start of this game. Uh, I don't know. Yet. Yeah, I was a bit disappointed, but I only missed the first quarter, so it wasn't too bad. Um, and then, yeah, the Giants just stamped their authority on the game in the second and third, but as you would have saw my last two-minute reaction, um, I was going for the Swans. I didn't really care who won, but just in that last quarter, I just decided to go for the Swans because it was a more Swans crowd, it, whipping home... But they couldn't get there. No, he was a thousand goals for Buddy. Jeez, imagine he retires. I don't think he will, though. But, yeah, look, he should still get there next year. But one injury and he's out. I probably shouldn't have said that. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, like, Toby Green could be in trouble. Now, I don't really know what to make of it. I thought he'd be okay. I thought he only touched his hand. But now that that third camera angle's got in, he clearly bumped his shoulder, Matt Stevick's shoulder. So I feel like he could be in trouble. But I don't think he'll get weeks. He won't get weeks. It won't be like four weeks or anything. He'll just be two max, I reckon. I'd like to see him get... Uh, I'd like to see him get off, to be honest. But I don't think that's going to happen. Maybe give him one week. I reckon that's all right. Two max, so. Uh, Saturday night, we had the D's taking on the Lions. It was a comfortable win for the D's, 33-point win. Yeah, it was a good game. Um, the Lions played really well in that first quarter. Um, but the D's, Cozzy Pickett with a goal, that was a great goal. Um, probably goals of the week, to be honest. Like, yeah. Amazing goal from Cozzy, um, just doing what he does. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, pretty much went from there, to be honest. Like, the Ds, um, just showed throughout why they're the best team and why they finished top. Um, the Lions did bounce back in the third, though. That was a really dominant third from them. But then in the last, it was just all the Ds, really. And, yeah, the Lions did fought back. How good was Charlie Cameron with his five goals? If the Lions didn't have them, they would have got pumped. Um, so, yeah. Really good win from the Ds. Uh, Sunday Arvo was the Dons taking on the Dogs. Now, I, early in this game, I was like, oh, this might be the drought breaker for Essendon. But, yeah, in that third, that was the real, and fourth. Like, the second half was just all doggies. I don't think the Dons kicked a goal for the second half. And they could have after the sign with Jakey Stringer, but, yeah, he missed. And, yeah, it was just a like story of the game to be honest like 
Yeah. So, yeah, it was a thumping for the doggies. They might have some form back. That's the big story of this game, I reckon. They could have some form back going into the Gabba against the Lions. So that will be massive. But, yeah, look, I just think, yeah, the doggies have played pretty well in that second half, like very well in that second half. In the first, like, Cody Waitman, though, how, how, like, it was a small forward weekend, to be honest. Cody kicked four, Charlie Cameron kicked five, Cozzy was lively, kicked a goal of the week, probably. Um, so, yeah, it's a really good week for the small, um, small forwards. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to the semi. So, we got Lions against Doggies Saturday. Uh, not, might be Saturday Twilight, Saturday night. I'd like to see a tap Saturday twilight, I reckon. Yeah, not sure. I just can't be bothered waiting all Saturday not to see a game of footy till the night. That'd be a bit boring. And then Friday night, we got the Cats taking on the Giants. I won't reveal who I think's going to win, because they'll say that in my tips. But they're going to be some good games, and there definitely could be some upsets, but I don't know. Doggies might have hit form at the right time. The Giants are in form. They did but knock off the Cats, so it's going to be a very interesting weekend of footy. But that's it for this video. If you did enjoy, please like, subscribe, and all of that stuff. Comment, and, yeah, I'll just see you next time. See ya.